You're watching the CP News Weekly video, and this video is brought to you by the Spring 2022 issue of Ernie Berry's Reporter Magazine. This issue is a must-read for the seafood industry as it features the special State of the Seafood Industry Annual Review. Plus, find stories on the lobster market, seeing a shift in consumer behavior, shifting food service trends, and much more. I'm CP News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erna Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story, the Standing Fish Price Setting Panel has made their decision regarding the price of snow crab. The initial price for this season is $7.60 per pound, which was the price put forward by the Association of Seafood Producers. FFAW had submitted a price of $9.05 per pound, which they say was based on a $14 to $14.25 market. FFAW's Inshore Council and Crab Negotiating Committee have ultimately decided to hold off on an immediate reconsideration since the market is still in decline and they fear a lower price. The organization said that they will continue to monitor the market closely and move forward with a price reconsideration request when the market settles and rebounds. Meanwhile, change is once again coming to Red Lobster. Just eight months after joining the iconic seafood company as their new chief executive officer, Kelly Villade announced this week that she's resigning, effective April 15th. Villade and Red Lobster did not give an explanation for her resignation, but the company did say that they will immediately begin a search for a successor who can lead the company in achieving its vision of being where the world goes for seafood now and for generations. Red Lobster's executive team will be working closely with the board of directors during the search for a permanent replacement with Paul Kenny, a member of the Red Lobster's board, serving as a liaison between Red Lobster's leadership and the board. In other news, the EU is getting ready to hit Russia with additional sanctions. Ursula von der Leyen, the president of European Commission, announced on Tuesday that they are going to be increasing pressure on Russia and are proposing to take sanctions a step further to cut even deeper into the Russian economy. Von der Leyen revealed that the fifth package proposed has six pillars, including an import ban on coal from Russia and a ban on Russian vessels and Russian-operated vessels from accessing EU ports. The fifth pillar focuses on specific import bans worth 5.5 billion euros. Without getting into details, von der Leyen said that the Russian imported items from seafood to liquor will be banned. And finally, a chairman of Thai Union and eight other individuals, including an executive director of the Thai Union Board of Directors, have been accused of insider trading. The insider trading reportedly occurred between October and November of 2017. Those found guilty face fines and other repercussions. The president and CEO of Thai Union released a statement after Thailand's Secu Securities and Exchange Commission published the news of the civil sanctions, stating that the company has acknowledged the announcement of the SEC and processed further investigation in order to ensure that the company complied with all relevant law and regulations. Subscribe to our channel below and don't forget to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood Tab in Comptel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news.